Hello there. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, yep, super behind. This is Wednesday. I know. I'm aware. I'm aware. It's been it's been a week, guys. <laughs> it's Wednesday and it's been a week. So, okay. First, what I want to do is like just update a few things in my ring planner. We'll kind of go from there. Um, somebody asked me about this again. I did believe I linked it. This is a, I think it's the Everyday Pouch from Elizabeth Scarlet. I do have a link for that that saves you some money on it. I think it's ten dollars. Um, but they fit if it's Tombos, so it is like and not tightly. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times you'll find one that says it fits Tombos, then you kind of have to like push them in there to get it to fit. This is, this fits all of my Tombos, like every single one of them with plenty of room to spare. So um, I customized this one. This was one where you could put your initial. They have lots of other ones. I have a couple other ones. Uh, actually, I'll just show you guys because I'm right here. I haven't put these ones to use yet. So when they come, they come in these cute little pouches. And this one has Velcro on it. This one is so cute. I saw either this one or a very similar one on L plans and I just really loved it. Love. So I think I'm going to use this for like a travel makeup bag. Like when I go on trips for like toiletries and makeup and stuff. So I love that one. And then, sorry, I just want to put it back in its little case. And then, and then, and then I love this one so much. Look how pretty gorgeous right I, I adore it let me see if this i'm pretty sure this is an everyday pouch too yeah rust velvet everyday pouch 20 by 30 centimeters so yeah i love it so something that they do this particular company is two percent of their annual sales are donated to wildlife conservation so that's kind of cool this is the same exact size pouch as my navy one with the stars so um yeah I love this. Love them. So I had a couple questions about those. That's why I was sharing those. Anyways, okay. I'm frazzled. I apologize. This video is probably going to be of me being frazzled. So you've been warned. Um, let's see. We are going to mark off today. I just added this. These are freebies from Vixie Plans. V-I-X-S-X-X-I-E. Vixie. Um, she's on Instagram and she has a whole freebie thing. She's got cute stuff, but she's got a ton of these. They're all quotes from the office. Let me see. I have a couple of them here. This is probably one of my favorite quotes from Michael Scott. And then this one also is a favorite. And there's like way more than that. I just happen to have these three that I put in here to start with. Let me put this back. These are those freebie cards from Crystal Plans too. And I did mine on both sides so that I, I only needed six. I just printed them on either side. I don't think much has changed other than I added that with an Ollie clip. I did add a couple other pictures in here and one of my favorite stickers. I don't know if, if you watch Spy Family, then you know who that is. That's Anya. This is like her older. Um, I don't think anything else is really different. I just have, still have all this spring stuff in here that I had. I might change it up a little bit. Oh, I finally got this so I can mark that off. Excuse me, I have not got that. I just got this and I just got this right now. And then I did just order, what was yesterday? The 20, oh good grief. Let's look at a calendar, Vanessa. I'm like, what day is it? Let me look at my 5 million calendars that I have. So today's the 27th. So yesterday was the 26th and I ordered a new phone. They offered me an upgrade deal. And then I ordered some cases, uh, well, a case and um, um, like a magnetic ring thing for the back of it. So that was all here. So that's two different things. So those haven't been, neither of those things have been shipped yet. Okay, I did get that, yay. I'm just going to cross that off. I've decided against that. I was thinking, so I love that. I don't know how to say that right. I think it's ecume or ecume. VDS. I've had one VDS and I didn't care for it, 
but I had gotten it, I believe, in the Touch Me leather, which is, I don't know, I just, I didn't care for it. But they have this new leather that looks so soft. And I keep thinking, oh my gosh, I want one of those, but no. I'm good. I have, I have planners, so I'm good. Um, okay, so today, let's cross this off. Somebody asked me why I do this. I do it because it's fun. Absolutely no reason. I do it because looking at it all crossed off, like looking at this at the end of the month is very um, satisfying to me. That's why, that's the only reason why I do it. Okay, I put this in, isn't this so cute? So cute, so this is for April, obviously, so is April. This is from Journaling Home. This is her little bonus that she gives you and I just printed it small so I could just stick it in here. And then I'll just check on the, do little checks on those because again, it's fun and I like it. I added some really cute washi, this is from Simply Gilded. I adore all of her book washi. Love it. Love it. I don't get I don't get her subs anymore. I used to, but every once in a while she puts something out and I'm like, oh what? Okay, so added that. Really cute. And then I have the whole journaling kit too that I'm gonna add into my B6 for next month. So let's see for daily. So that was Sunday. So this was Monday, Monday was crazy. None of this got done, so I moved it over there. Um, I worked all day and then my mother-in-law wasn't feeling well. Long story short, she wanted to go to the ER. She doesn't have a car, so I took her to the ER. We were there for like, from like 1.30 to nine o'clock at night. Um, she has back pain, so they told her to take Tylenol. They did x-rays, blood work, all kinds of stuff, and they were just like, you just need to take Tylenol. Um, so anyways, that was a crazy day yesterday. Whenever I'm in high stress situations, I'm gonna be honest with you guys about this because I've talked about it, um, that my doctor diagnosed me with fibromyalgia. It's a very interesting condition. Anyways, whenever I'm in a high stress situation like that, I can get through the high stress situation, but then the next day, I will feel a fibro flare coming on. You can see I'm still dealing with it a little bit. My hands are bright red. Um, my, I, I get, all of my other symptoms of everything else just get aggravated. So I get muscle spasms. I just, I feel achy. I feel like I can't move. Sometimes it feels like there's like glass, like in my joints. Like it's just, it. so yesterday I worked and then I took a nap and then I just, my husband texted me that he had a really late lunch and he wasn't going to be hungry for dinner. So I had girl dinner. I had like some salami and cheese and some Tostitos hint of lime chips, which I love. And I had a root beer and I was good. My son did his own thing. He's a grown man. So everybody, I just, yeah. Um, I did print out the April journaling kit from journaling home. So I have that ready. I did not vacuum. I'm going to try to do that today. I did do my skincare. So I had done a poll on, not a poll, but like a question. I had put out a question on Instagram about serums because I'm gonna sit down. Sorry guys, this is I'm trying to move this stool without making it loud. My back is killing me. Um serums for skin for like those who are over 45 or over 40. I just turned 45 and I I was using the dermatology serum and I just didn't really care for it. So I finished it because I wanted to finish it. Um but let me see. I have a doctor's appointment. Um, I got a lot of response and it was awesome. I'm so grateful for the responses that I got. A lot of people said to try The Ordinary. The name of the company is The Ordinary. I had never heard of it. And I love makeup and I love skincare. Never heard of this company. So I ordered the niacinamide and also the hyaluronic acid from them. So far, I'm obsessed love it. I've been using it for two days. Then yesterday I'd also had two people, whoops, I did it again. And also Vixie plans, the stuff called, I thought, I'm probably going to say it wrong, but it's like snail mucin. I ordered that. I'm going to try it when it gets here. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. And I just ordered everything off of Amazon. So yeah, that's where we are with that. Oh, I wanted to use, I am trying, I gathered, I call this my great big book of everything. There used to be a cartoon show I believe called Stanley and my son was obsessed with it. And um, 
Anyways, he had this thing called the Great Big Book of Everything. So there's this giant book where all of his information was from. And I always thought it was so cute. Anyways, I forget I have all this stuff in here. And I'm like, I need to use these. Because I just have tons of icon stickers. And when I used to plan like on a hobo cousin or weeks or stuff like that, I, I use so many icons and I've just kind of gotten away from that. So I'm trying to pull some in, like I've got all these work ones. Did a nap one. I, I did some um, from a vertical kit last week. So anyways, okay, so today I need to film, which I am currently doing. Um, I want, okay, I started laundry. And I am writing this out as started because I started laundry two days ago and didn't finish it. Totally forgot. I left a load of towels and sheets in my washer. And then my son went to go do his laundry and didn't think about it and put them in the dryer. He didn't realize they'd been in there for a whole day. So then I just had to rewash them all. And that's just my brain. So I'm rewashing those and then I need to dry and then fold and then put away and then I'm going to put down here now I know I have a skincare tracker in my weekly my like weeks planner I'm just going to write this here because I want to make sure that I do the serums specifically because it's a new thing to me with these two serums and I just want to make a note of that um and then I have tomorrow, I have an appointment at 11 and then one at 4.30. Four. And then over here, I have uh, okay. And then I think Saturday, I don't think I put this in here yet, but I think we're gonna go see the new Godzilla movie. So I'm just gonna write this over here. Cause I think we're gonna go do that. And then I don't have any plans on Sunday. Okay, um, there's that. I did put in more of these weeklies. These are the freebie weekly from my Moxie Dreams. Look at this, isn't that pretty? My friend made this and made them available. She had a couple freebies available. It's scattered plans. She is not doing this like for everybody all the time. Sometimes she makes certain things and she's really kind to me and shares with me when she makes certain things, but she's not a business. So um, please don't DM her about her freebies. Like if you go to her, her profile and you go to the link, you know, in her bio and click on it, she will sometimes have a freebies folder available that you can go there and download. Um, but she's not a business. This is just something she does for fun and she's very kind to me. These are the freebies from My Moxie Dreams. And um, she has these dated. Now she has it when you go into My Moxie Dreams, you go to the link and then it takes you to like her blog and then you click on the freebies. She has it for each month. So you have to click, like if you want Marches, you click on March and then you'll download those and you'll have all of them. But each month is its own little like file, if that's making any sense. But I kind of like the way this is laid out. So I did print these out. Now it is Franklin Covey compact size, but as you can see, I cut them down and they fit pretty well. I probably could have cut it a little bit more and just had the, the loops in a little bit, a little bit more into the thing, but it, it's working and it's fitting. So I've got these through, let's see. I printed all the way until mid April. So through April 14th. So I just did like a month's worth of these. And so far I like these. It's nice sometimes to just see this as an overview of what's happening. Um, and then nothing else. Oh, if you go to the, if you like these type of fold out things, like these ones that I have from, I bought these from Peanuts Planner Co. But if you go to, um, Paper Test Designs Facebook group. She just released all of her yearly fold out things that she does, different ones for free. So go to Facebook and then go to the Paper Test Designs um, page group. And then she had just posted 
earlier today or yesterday and there's a link you just click on it and it has I, I downloaded them and I haven't printed them yet but she has like one that's like a whole year fold out that you just fold in and she has it for a bunch of different sizes she has yearly overviews she has sticky notes that have all of the um like you can print for sticky notes that have one month for each kind of like these ones that I have but it's um like these are freebies from plan with b but she's got it for um all the all the whole year in a different like design so anyways um, this is my YouTube blog. I haven't decided if I want to like share my YouTube information or not. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I should or if it matters. I kind of don't really care, but then I'm like, I don't know. Should I? Here's blank. If you have a YouTube channel and you want to keep track of it, basically what I'm doing is I'm just circling each day that I do a video, um, the number of videos for each week, and then my subs for that week. And then it has... These are like my goals of what I'd like to do by the end of the year. I'd love to have 3,000 subs. I'd like to be actively doing minimum one video, if not two videos per week. Uh, weekly action plans, filming um, a plan with me, and also a flip. I don't know if I should do a, a weekly flip, like a separate video of my planner, of this planner. It seems like everybody loves looking at flip throughs of this, and I do change it quite often. Let me know in the comments. Should I do like a like pink planner girl? right? She does, a, it's Nicola. She does a, a flip every week. I watch it every week. I love it. But I don't know if I should do that or not. I'm just not sure. Um, these are just notes. I ordered that new phone yesterday. So I have in here somewhere a bunch of notes. I don't think anything else in here has changed at all. I'm just, some of this is, is medical information. Um, I'm still using the weekly tracker in here from, um, watch Becca plan. And I love this. This, this is perfect for me. I adore it. I have it printed out through June. Yeah. And then this is just my like crossing off when I close my rings. I, think I didn't mark for yesterday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. So this is now this is all cut up up to date. Sorry. I feel like that took way too long. I don't know. I don't know what's going on guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit different for this week. I'm going to use some of these bits that I got from Soft Ivory Studio. I've had these for a long time. I am trying to go through and use what I have. I need to use it. I have these sitting around not doing anything and then I start thinking like, what are you doing? Like, why are you hoarding all that stuff? Just use it, use it, right? Um, let me show you, I did update my, I love this page, isn't that pretty? I don't know why I didn't do that. This is a quote. I should do that every week and just go through these things and fill in quotes. Well, that one was different because we did our trip, our Disneyland trip. This one's really full of pictures. Um, the same thing here. Like I have this open. I just need to go through and do a quote. Anyways, you didn't want to. Nobody wanted to hear that. I'm just volunteering it. Anyways, I did update my sticker a day. I love this. This makes me happy. This is a simple thing that I learned from Dakshina. She does this. Sometimes she writes little things in. Sometimes it's just a sticker and you know what it means. Um, my son got his license last Friday. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him, you guys. Um, anyways, this is where we're at. I already put these down last night for today because that's the highlight of the day. And then we have, this is last week's. I am still using the monthly journaling kit. I wanted to talk about this too. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I'm sorry. These are monthly journaling kits. They're about $5. She is so reasonably priced. You just go to journaling home. I'll see if I can link it. But it's just journaling home on Etsy. Every month she just put out her April one. It is stunning, you guys. I love it. And she just gives you very simple journaling prompts. So if you want to journal, but like me, sometimes I get kind of lost, especially when I'm wanting to do like a whole page. The, these are just simple questions. One sentence, describe what you want your home environment to look like. Like I would never think about that. <laughs> I put, I want my home environment to, to be safe, warm, and comfortable. So I'm not thinking of aesthetic as much as in that moment, like I want it to be to look and feel like a safe place. I want it to feel warm and comfortable and inviting. I don't want people to come in and think like, oh, we can't mess anything up. Like, 
that's for some people it's not for me i want my home to feel warm i want it to be clean warm welcoming lived in um two sentences describe your decorating style sometimes i do more or less i put my style is a mix of what i call industrial comfort <laughs> i just made that up i like to mix wood with metal I have a lot of like stainless steel stuff or like my, like I've got a clock that's like that kind of corrugated steel look, but it's not farmhouse, it's industrial. I love it. I like corrugated steel, metal, and concrete. I did concrete countertops. I did them on, on my own. Um, soft, co soft, cozy fabrics and warm, inviting colors, gray, blue, brown. So my house right now, the walls are like a really pretty slate blue and then I've got a gray also like I have like the the curtain rods that are like they look like old pipes they're like a, a silvery I just love it anyways so for today's it'll be three sentences right about your childhood at home that'll be fun I love my childhood home here's a little sneak peek of the April kit from journaling home so she gives you lots of deco this one says lovely spring days. That's just an extra piece of vellum. She does quotes. This is a Jane Austen one. It says, know your own, know, what does that say? I don't know what that says. Know your own happiness, you, You land, nothing but patience, or, I'm gonna have to look at this. I think there might be a more fascinating name. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look at that, sorry. It... <laughs> I just finished working for three hours and teaching classes and I'm a little bit fried. That was embarrassing. Anyways, so I just put them in where I'm gonna tip them in for each week. And then she always has extra deco pages that you can tip in places. So it's like for the whole month. So you get lots of deco, lots of quotes, lots of good stuff. Um, okay, so what are we going to do for this week? I wanted to put down some of this deco. That's what I wanted to do. I'm losing my mind, you guys. I didn't even remember. Like, what am I here for? What are we doing? So I'm going to use some of these. Again, this is Soft Ivory Studio. I follow her on Instagram, and she has really pretty stuff that I have always liked. And I made this particular order and it just came with lots of little stickers and ephemera. And I thought what might be cute, like when I get to these ones, is she has all these little different, just little bits, but there a lot of them are similar. So I thought what I could do is instead of doing washi, just do kind of like a little bit of um, like, a, like a border collage-ish type situation. And more over here. Uh, see, yeah, like I could put one of these ones. And then it just adds a little interest to the page, right? Am I right? Am I wrong? Is this a bad idea? A good idea? I mean, not that it's going to stop me because I'm just going to keep doing it. Hmm. <laughs> And then I laugh at my own jokes like a goober. Um, also, ooh, I forgot about this. I ordered these. I see people using these all the time. Hold on, it's gonna be loud. A little bit of crinkly noise if you don't like that. Go ahead and mute me for a second. Try to warn people about that. Um, I got these on Amazon. I will try to link them below. They're just dates on like washi paper. So you get the whole entire year. So this is January. February, March, okay. And then let's find the right days. So we have the 25th, starting with the 25th, right? Monday the 25th, okay, so let me get to the 25th. And then I thought these would just be the perfect thing, especially with this decorating style, it really works, doesn't it? That's so cute. If this is too long and boring for you, just fast forward me. Just put me on like 
Do you guys know how to change the playback speed? I talk about this a lot because I didn't know about this for years. So if you're watching it on a phone or on the TV, go to the little settings cog, click on the settings and then go to playback speed and you can do like 1.25 or 1.5, depending on the person that you're listening to. Sometimes you can do 1.5. I mean, I'm sure there's some people out there that can do it faster. Usually I put everything on like 1.25 because it doesn't um, change the way the person's voice sounds. But for points in time where maybe they aren't talking or, you know, situations like that, it just speeds it up just a little bit. So you're not going to hurt my feelings <laughs> is what I'm saying. If you're going to speed me up, you just go for it. Do it. I don't mind because I know that sometimes I am a rambling mess. Okay, so over here, let's see. I also have, I love, love these typewriters. I'm going to, I'm just going to say this. Tabby, if you're watching this, <laughs> my friend Tabby from Southern Belle Blands, I would like giant stickers like this with vintage typewriters with flowers. <laughs> she always has really cool stuff. And I'm just throwing that out there, Tabby. That would be really cool, something... Do, we, do you, she has so many stickers, you guys, and her, I cannot keep up for the life of me. She has so many styles of stickers and things available on her website. If you have not checked it out, I highly encourage you to check it out because it's really cool. She has so many different things. I don't recall a typewriter like that. Like I said, though, I could be completely wrong and there could be some and I just don't know about it. That is completely plausible because like I said there's so much available um, on her website so if she has something like that she'll probably make a comment and tell me where it is and that I am a goofball because I didn't remember where it was I also vintage keys are kind of my thing I actually collect them and I wear them as necklaces I put them on old vintage chains. I, my husband and I have found them in thrift stores. Um, what do I wanna put on this side? I already did a, this one. And I could do one of these ones. Let's do one with a flower. This is really fun. I'm really, oops. I don't have my tweezers with me. I, might, I may have messed that sticker up a little bit, it's okay. Okay, then I need one more thing. I think I need to put a bow. Let's do, we've got a green one there, so let's do one of these ones. Um, I wish this was on clear matte. That is my only complaint, but that's just because that's my favorite thing is, oof, that's kind of messed up, isn't it? I ripped it. Oh, that's just fine. That's beautiful. That's so cute. I'm really happy about this. Okay, so over here, what I'm thinking is, cause I kind of have this March thing with the brown and it already has floral. So we'll just do a little bit. Why don't I put one of these bows down here? And then I've got a key up there. And then on this page, we'll do a green one in the corner. And maybe a little bit of some washi up here. Because then I have that over the top of it. And then that's cute, right? I think that's good. And then we'll have April to so start for April. I still have a lot left here. Okay, so here's these pages. Let me just flip through. I do like a thought or a word per day here. That's all I use this for. So like here's a, a finished week. See, like I need to write a quote there. I think that will fill that in nicely. But just like this is like basically one word a day. This is nice. I really like the way this all looks. Very cute. Yeah. Sometimes I like to flip through it with just ones like that to make sure that I'm happy with the way it's laid out too, you know? Okay, so let me put those to the side and then we're just gonna do a quick setup with this. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, I got this on Amazon. It is Erin Condren. I'm not really like, I don't shop Erin Condren, but I do like these big metal markers that she has. I have a few of them that I've just gotten on Amazon. So 
If I can find it, I'll link it. Oh, I need to catch up and cross these off, don't I? Let's do that real quick <clears throat> while we're here. Because if I don't do it now, I will forget. 100%. Okay. That was completely done wrong. I don't know if you saw that. I did it completely sideways. Okay, last week, this is how it turned out. Not bad, turned out pretty good. Um, this week, let's use some of these same stickers that we have from this kit. We'll just finish it off like so. And maybe put like a little butterfly over here. Okay, and then thinking the little bows would be kind of cute. What if I did a little bow at the top of each little section? And then I'll put a stick. I usually put a bigger sticker there. I kind of want to save this one, but I kind of want to use it. Hmm. You know what, I might as well just use it. I'm really forcing myself to use the things that I have, you guys. I hoard them. I, I hold on to them, like if I put it down, I don't know what I think is gonna happen. Like why, why do I do that? I don't know. I honestly don't know why I do it. But I'm really fighting myself to just be like, use the pretty stickers, use them all. And that might seem a little bit funny considering the fact that I'm, I'm constantly on here doing videos with stickers, right? All the time I'm on here, videos with stickers, no problem, use them. But you guys, I have whole packages full of them <laughs> that, I'm, that I am most definitely not using. And I should be thinking something. This is N95. Yeah, let's do that one. I am also really, really, really contemplating slicing out these pages and to, and punching them into my personal rings. I have done that in the past. I always cut out papers. If I have leftover papers from Hobonichi's, from whatever, like any extra papers. I, so cutting it out is very easy for me. I just have a slice tool slice out the pages, cut them down to size if need be. But these weeklies, I've been thinking, cause I, you know, I'm kind of messing around with the weekly in my rings to see how I feel about it. I'm like, I could just cut these out, but then I wouldn't have a whole year to show, you know, like a year, what does Monique call it? A year of record, like one whole year together. So I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. So, okay, we're gonna put, in care here and then I'm gonna put serums I really need to I need to do that because it's a new thing in my routine and if I don't focus on it because you're supposed to do it morning and night <clears throat> pardon me if I don't do it I'm gonna forget you know okay we're gonna put meds I usually always remember my meds but okay skincare serums Meds. Now everybody uses these for different things, but this is what I'm using it for. So I did my skincare both days and then I just started the serums yesterday. And today I did it in the morning already. I did my meds both of those days and this morning. I did not wear my mouth guard for the last two days. Um, I have been flossing every day. I did not, I haven't done my water yet today. So I'm not gonna mark that off and I haven't stretched at all. Um, so what did we have for dinner Monday night? Oh, I'm trying to remember, what did I make? I made something. Oh no, Monday was when I was at the hospital. 
Yes, that's right. I was at the hospital. I didn't get home till after nine. Okay, and then yesterday, I'm just gonna put girl dinner. Which amounts to whatever I can snack on. And then tonight, I believe I'm gonna make nachos. And then I did not have dinner Monday night. Um, we're gonna put here. Okay. I'll probably do like a to-do thing here, but I'm not sure. And then let's pull out these stickers. I want the ones that just say work. What did I do with the ones that say work? Errands, dinners, to do, coffee, Starbucks, doctor. I can use the doctor's appointment one for today. So, what I'm going to do is I'll put 315 right there, and then I will put this over the top of it. I didn't do that right, but that's fine. I swear I had some in here that said work. And now I can't find them. Well, oh well, we're gonna put planning time right here for today. Oops, that's crooked. Did I put the work ones in here maybe? I need to make, so watch Becca Plan, who you guys all know by now. I love, love her. She has tons of freebies, she's amazing. She did a freebie of these, um, um, a printable like sticker pouch that you make on your own if you, you just need to be able to print it out and then you could cut it and like if you have a laminator that's great, and if you don't, you could just use, like I've seen like Monique and other people just use like clear packing tape to kind of self laminate things. Um, so yeah, she has this one that says stickers and I love the font. So I wanna use that. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna use this one. That's fine, we're gonna do, wow, well, today's busy. Lots of stuff going on today. So it reminded me, the reason why I started talking about that one is because this is the same thing. I bought this from Shine Sticker Studio and then you print it. I printed mine on vellum and then I laminated it and then I have a little sticker folder. Somebody asked about these fragile stickers. I got these on Amazon, a whole gigantic package of them so I could use them and put them wherever I wanted to at any given time. So I've kind of put them everywhere. It, they were cheap. It was like five bucks for like a ton, a ton of them. Okay, so I think we're good. Do I need to put anything else on here that I have going on? What did I say? I have cart there, Saturday Godzilla. You know what I should put is I have movie stickers. I should put, I think they're in this one. No, they're in this one. I'm wrong. Movie stickers. See, I have these ones that have like movie popcorn. But I also have, ooh, I kind of want pizza. Oof. You know what? We might have pizza. Pizza sounds so good. We'll do these ones going to, for going to the movies. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Uh, last thing I'm going to talk about is something that I'm going to set up. I talked about it a little bit on Instagram about trying morning pages. Um, I have this gorgeous Starbucks Reserve TN that I've had that I haven't used. I've just had it sitting in one of my planner bags. And 
I wanted to start trying to do a morning page, which the research that I've done, you can go look on my Instagram, basically like just a, a way of just jotting down in the morning. Sometimes people say two sentences, some people do more, or just even a few things like just when I wake up, what's on my mind, sometimes I feel a little bit jumbled. Uh, so just a morning page to kind of whatever, like whatever it is, there's really not a rhyme or reason, but just to basically get the clutter out of my brain in the morning to help me focus on what I need to do. So um, this is the cover that I've decided to use, the Starbucks Reserve Roastery. I have it, the notebook in a Salty Katie clear cover. I, her covers are amazing. I, I can't they're just awesome. They're thick. They're, they're sewn well. I've never had problems with any of them. The notebook is a Tomo River notebook from Planning with K. I will try to link that below. Planning with K is amazing. Um, I got this notebook from her. It is a Tomo River paper notebook. I thought it would be perfect because the grid is a little bit bigger. And what I'm thinking to try in the beginning is to either do two pages per day and just a little thought for each morning. Or if you follow Monique Smith, what she does is she takes the pages and she puts them in fourths. And then she just says, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then she'll have like deco, like a girl or something like a sticker. I might even just try that in the beginning and just start with that because then it, she'll just put a little, whatever it is, if it's a gratitude, if it's she woke up feeling anxious, whatever. But it's just called morning pages, um, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna set that up. Um, I don't know if I'll do a setup video separately because I do want to. Obviously, you know me; like I'm not gonna have this be plain. I'm gonna add stickers and washi and all kind of stuff to make it pretty. I mean, it's already pretty. It's beautiful. I love it. But you know what I mean. So I might do a little setup video for that, or I might just set it up on my own time just for fun, and then I'll show you guys next week when I do a video like how it looks and how it's going. So. Anyways, that is everything. That's everything we're doing. So um, if you do morning pages, leave us messages. Tell us how, how are you using them? I've told you how I'm gonna use them. At least how I'm gonna try. Um, yeah, I, I'd like to hear everybody's thoughts on that. I just think sometimes that would help me. It's not journaling, it's not, you know, it's whatever you want it to be, but it's just a brief little snippet of like, whatever it is. I slept great. I slept horrible. I, whatever, whatever you want it to be just a way to kind of wake up. Like when I'm having my coffee, start my morning and be like, what's going on? So anyways, just a thought. So thank you so much for being here. And I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.